I'm going to show you the best way to create a gallery page using Elementor. Okay, so besides the obvious gallery widget we have to add, you also probably want to put a heading that says gallery, probably, right? And then we can make this centered and we can, we'll give it some margin around it. You probably also want under that headline some text explaining about the gallery. We can also center that. And after you've got that written out and styled, we are going to want to find the gallery widget. So over here, we have a couple different widgets. We have a basic gallery, a gallery, a carousel, and then two from Ultimate Add-ons for Elementor, which we won't go over because that is an additional plugin I have installed. So carousel is when images move through, like they rotate. So that's not really a photo gallery page, right? And then I like to choose this gallery widget usually. I don't mess with the basic gallery at all because who wants anything basic, right? So let's drag this gallery widget in. And now for the type is where you choose between single or multiple. You might think that means pictures, but it actually means a single gallery or multiple galleries. So we are going to keep this as single. And then we are going to click in here to select our images. So you can choose from your media gallery or you can also go to upload files and drag your files in, your photos in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I am dragging in all of my photos. Now, in general, you do want to make sure that your photos are resized and optimized before you upload them here. There are plugins that will do that for you, but you are going to have the best performance if you optimize and resize them first. And now, after these are uploaded, we're going to want to do some stuff over here in this attachment details panel. We are at the very least going to want to put a title because the title is going to show up on the gallery in the light box. So put something there so it's not the ugly file name. You're also going to want to put alt text, which describes the image. This is good for SEO and it's also good for accessibility. And then you might also want to put a caption as well. And then go ahead and do that for all of the images that you just uploaded, select each of them, and then change the stuff on the attachment details panel. And then when you are all done with that, you want to click this create a new gallery button in the bottom right. And then when you're here, you can change the order of the photos if you want them to show up differently in the gallery. And then when you're all done, click the insert gallery button in the bottom right. And there they are. Now we might have some other settings you might want to change. So here you can choose how to order them. You can put them at default, the order that you made with the gallery, or you can put random. You can turn on and off lazy load. You can choose the layout by default. It's grid, but you also have the justified option or the masonry option. I think this one looks better when there's different sized images here. And then you can change the number of columns, more or less. And then you can change the spacing in between the photos. You can choose what they link to, if you want them to link to nothing, the media file or a custom URL. I usually wanna keep this as a media file and you probably do for also for a photo gallery page. For light box, you want to keep this as default or yes, a light box is going to be, I'll show you in a second when we, when we test the page, when you click the photo, it's going to look nicer as it expands basically. And for image resolution here, I like to put this as full to make sure the images are as nice and crisp as possible. Next, we have the overlay section, and this is if you want something to happen when you mouse over it. So if we turn off the background, you're gonna see that we're gonna mouse over and it's not gonna have any background on it, but I like how it looks when, yes, there is a background. If you wanted to, you can also choose to show a title and a description here. So how that would look is if you want to mouse over and see it like that. But I don't love that. So I'm going to click none and none there. 
And then of course you also want to, as always, peek into how it's going to look in tablet version and mobile version. And you can make changes to the settings here for if you want it different for mobile version, like maybe you want two columns for mobile version instead of one. I like one better, so we'll keep it as that. And then when you're all done with that, go ahead and hit publish in the top right. And then hit the drop down and go to view page. And here we go. Here's our gallery. And when you click into them, you can see your pictures. This is what the light box is. And you can actually scroll through your photos here. And that's it. Now you know how to make a gallery page with Elementor. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check out my description for the link to download your free website roadmap, which will walk you through everything you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.